The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, reports that Russia's readiness to provide weapons to Yemeni Houthis demonstrates Vladimir Putin's desire to pressure the West into abandoning support for Ukraine while also revealing Russia's growing dependence on Iran for high-precision weapons and components. According to CNN sources, the Kremlin planned to transfer missiles and other military equipment to Houthis in Yemen but did not follow through after diplomatic pressure. The ISW states that Russia's reported plan highlights its growing military partnership with Iran and suggests that Russia likely aims to leverage Iranian proxies to indirectly confront the West and shape Western decision-making. The analysts note this aligns with Russian information operations aimed at encouraging Western self-deterrence from supporting Ukraine over fears of confrontation with Russia. Putin's willingness to consider supporting the Houthis as they attack Israel and international shipping is part of deepening Russian-Iranian military cooperation and Russia's increasing reliance on Iran for high-precision weapons and components, the ISW reports. Increased Russian willingness to use Iran and its proxies to indirectly confront the West will disrupt Russian attempts to portray Russian foreign policy in the Middle East as balanced and may further complicate Russian relations with countries concerned about Russian-Iranian cooperation. According to CNN, citing U.S. officials and other sources, Russia was preparing to deliver missiles and other military equipment to the Houthis in late July 2024. U.S. officials said they were unsure, unsure whether Saudi Arabia's protests were the determining factor in halting the planned transfer. CNN sources said at least three Russian military officers visited Yemen in late July 2024 to advise the Houthis and possibly help them conduct live fire exercises, which the Houthis later cancelled. Ukrainian special services are cooperating with Tuaregs in Mali. As one of the rebel commanders said in particular, they are being taught how to operate drones. This was reported by the French publication Le Monde, citing informants. It is noted that exchanges are taking place between the rebels and the special services to understand cooperation. According to sources, the Ukrainian government is passing strategic information to the Tuaregs in Mali and also teaching them how to use drones. We have connections with the Ukrainians, but also with everyone else, the French, the Americans and others, the CSP-DPA representative Mohamed El Maloud Ramadan. According to a rebel commander, exchanges are indeed taking place with Ukrainian intelligence services to see how to cooperate. We have ties with the Ukrainians, but as we have with everyone, French, Americans and others acknowledges Mohamed El Maloud Ramadan. Since being driven out of their historic stronghold of Kidal, in northern Mali by the Malian army and Wagner in November 2023, the rebels have been forced to reorganize to continue their fight against the ruling junta in Bamako. For their part, the Ukrainian authorities, who claim to be at war with Russia in all theaters, have made targeting Russian paramilitaries a strategic objective. As reported, it recently became known that Tuareg rebels had rooted a large column of Wagner mercenaries in Mali. Kiev Post subsequently reported that Ukrainian special forces had launched a comprehensive attack on a Russian base in Syria. Russian journalist Andriy Popov calls this the opening of new fronts for Russia. Ukraine is now looking for and uniting those who are already fighting with the Russian Federation on other continents. The Ukrainian intelligence stated that the monopoly of Russian private military companies in the sphere of bandit activity is coming to an end. There are forces that can put these criminals in their place.